Hello everyone, AWS recently announced a new feature wherein you can connect to your instances that do not have any public IP addresses using the EC2 instance connect endpoint. Previously, if you had any instances within the private subnets, then the only way to access them was either using a bastion host or using VPN or direct connect. So what used to happen previously is that let's say you have a VPC and within the VPC you have two subnets public subnet and private subnet and let's say you have resources within your private subnet like EC2 instances, database etc. In order to access them either you would need a VPN or a direct connect or else Another approach would be to create a bastion host within the public subnet which is then connected to the internet gateway and then having rules associated wherein these VMs can be accessed by this bastion host which is within the same VPC. The problem with this would be you had to incur additional cost for your jump server that is the bastion host you would have to take care of the updates patching security etc so the new feature that is introduced will help to eliminate this bastion host so let us see how this works so here is an documentation on the feature i will link this in the description of the video for further reference. I already have a EC2 instance that is created. If you notice, I have this instance EC2 private, which is not having any public address. It is within a private subnet and it has a private IP address. If we click on this connect, Previously, we used to use this EC2 instance connect which was applicable for public IP addresses. For private IP addresses which do not have any public IP associated, we can make use of the new feature that is the connect using EC2 instance connect endpoint. So, if we select this, you have to enter your username, the tunnel duration, until which this web sockets will be active and you will be able to connect using that tunnel and then you need to provide something known as an endpoint currently i don't have any endpoint so let's go and create that once we click on create an endpoint you will be receiving certain form fields and if you notice it is within the endpoints within the vpc so let's name it EC2 IC1, okay, which is EC2 Instance Connect 1. We will select the option EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint. Let's select the VPC. The VPC that we are interested is in Custom VPC. So, we will select this Custom VPC. We can associate a security group with that which is important because uh, this is something that will be responsible for accepting the request etc which we will see in some time okay the subnet we will select the private subnet uh, we will not do anything with respect to the tags and let's click on create endpoint so this will take some time in order to become active so we will pause this video for some time and come back once this is done okay so the endpoint is now in available status so let's go back to the ec2 instance let's click on it and select connect we will be selecting the second option
let's select an endpoint that is that got available just now and click on connect so this will open a new window wherein you will be able to perform all the operations on that machine using the browser so you can use all the facilities like selecting pasting etc okay so this is how you work and connect to the private instances through the browser now let us look how we can access the same from our terminal right so probably from our local machine so it's pretty simple first thing you need to go ahead and upgrade and update your AWS CLI because this is a new option that got introduced okay so once that is done what you can do is configure your AWS system using the AWS configure wherein you can provide all the necessary client ID client secret region etc so I am using the SSO so I have already logged in via the SSO using the AWS configure SSO command and I already have the credentials set so once the credentials is set what we can do is there are multiple options that we can use in order to access that machine so let us just look into the documentation if we just want to use a single connection you can use this command of ssh wherein within the proxy command you will be creating the tunnel using the ec2 instance connect option and you need to provide the instance id okay instance id is something that you get from the ec2 view that is if you go to the instances and if you notice there is this instance id so you can copy this instance id okay if you want to have multiple connections then what you can do is you can run this proxy commands whatever is there and specify the local port so what this will do is this will have the connections open on the port that you specify so it's as good as you are opening a web socket between your local host and to the machine using this instance connect okay so once that is done you can then ssh with the same user but the host will be local host and you will have to give the port forwarding port which is what you have specified here okay so let's go to the terminal i already have the latest aws cli installed if you are using the older one then you can follow the steps uh, using the getting started link so i will mention this link also in the description so that you can use it for your reference so in my example i will use the multi connection option it really doesn't matter i just want to show how this port forwarding works okay so if you notice here i will copy this command okay i'll go back here i will paste it okay what we need to do is we need to specify the instance id so i will grab the instance id from the view that i mentioned i'll click on this copy okay also i have my credentials stored against a profile so i will give the profile name in which in my case is aws hyphen cb so once you execute this command you will notice it's listening for connections on port 8888 so it's basically like a web socket is been opened for you so the in the other terminal what i will do is i will use the normal ssh command so i have the key being available in the ssh folder so i will i don't have to explicitly mention it but if you had the key somewhere else you could give a hyphen i and provide the necessary key along with the details 
So I will be using ac2 hyphen user, which is the username for the machine at the rate localhost because it's basically like we are tunneling it from our localhost within that port. And the port will be 8888, which we have mentioned here as part of our previous command. So once I click enter, you notice uh, you might be getting some kind of a prompt where you need to accept the fingerprint. Uh, please click on or please type yes and press enter. And on subsequent calls, you will not be receiving that. Okay, as you can see, we have already logged in into the EC2 machine, which is in the private subnet and doesn't have any IP address or public IP address associated. So you can go ahead and perform as if you're connecting to any given machines using some kind of a VPN or a bastion host. I hope this video was useful and you are able to get this to work. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning.